Hi, and welcome to our first ever Direct Line Prayer, prayer Podcast. Uh, Julie and I are going to be swapping off back and forth, switching off to uh, just share short messages with you who are volunteers in the Direct Line Prayer Center. Uh, first of all, we want to say how much we appreciate you, and uh, we just we want to share these messages with you just as a way of encouraging you and uh, perhaps to put a few things in your pocket to take to the Lord as you go to Him in prayer. Um, what I wanted to share with you today is out of Jeremiah chapter 1. God speaks to Jeremiah as he's a very young man and uh, tells him that he's sending him to the nations. Jeremiah has an excuse. He doesn't want to go because he says, I'm too young. Nobody's going to listen to me, but God is not going to listen to that. Uh, he tells him, yes, you will. <laughs> and you will speak what I tell you to speak. And really, it's the same way for us. You know, a lot of times we think that uh, that God's asking us to do things that feel a little bit impossible. You know, if it does feel like it's bigger than you, then it's probably God, because God's going to ask you to do things that are bigger than you are. That way, when you accomplish them, you're not going to try and claim credit, because you know that the Lord is the one that has made it happen for you. What I really want to focus on, though, is uh, Jeremiah chapter 1, starting in verse 9. There's some great promises here, I think, uh, in Scripture for us to use in prayer. And I often go to this verse as uh, an instructive way. When, when I don't really know exactly how to pray for something, uh, this is one of the verses that I turn to that helps me. It's, it says this, it says, The Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over nations and over kingdoms. Here's the purpose for doing that. To root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. So a lot of times, uh, if I'm not sure exactly how to pray, then I'll just wait upon the Lord. I'll, I'll pray in the Spirit, then I wait upon the Lord and I quiet myself and I try to listen to Him. Because God's Word says here He's going to put His words in my mouth. How does He do that? Well, for me, the way it works is there's really three things that I try to do. As I said, I pray in the Spirit and I quiet myself. And then I just, I just sit back and I, I allow the Lord to deal with me. And it usually comes in one of three ways. First way is that He will speak. So I listen to hear. I try to hear the voice of the Lord. And I, I can't say that I've ever heard the audible voice of God, but usually that comes to me in impressions. Second thing is I look to see because God will sometimes show us something. Um, I love what we say here that we practice what we call listening prayer at Direct Line. And, and that's exactly what that's all about, is to just try to sense what God is leading us into as we're praying. And so I, I listen to hear, I look to see, and then the third thing I'll do is I will sense to feel. Sometimes that comes as a physical sensation. Maybe I'm praying for somebody, and they haven't really told me exactly what their need is. And uh, I'll have this sensation of maybe a pain in my body, and, and then I can ask them about that. Is, are you having a problem with this or that? And uh, that's a good way that the Lord will instruct us. So those are things that, that we can pray about, that uh, things that need to be rooted out, torn down, destroyed, plucked up. Um, and, and those are uh, good in instructions from the Lord. But, you know, God doesn't want us to stop there. He doesn't want us to be at all, about all about destruction. Uh, instead, I really believe that the Lord also wants us to be constructive. And it says that in the end of that verse there, it says that we're also supposed to build and to plant. And so I will seek the Lord about those things as well. So uh, when you go to prayer and you're not exactly sure exactly how to pray, then I think it's great instruction to just spend some time with the Lord, allow Him to place His Word upon our lips. Because we know this, that if, if we go to the Lord and we have the Word of the Lord as we're in prayer, we can be very confident that he's not only listening to us, but that he's going to give us the things that we're praying about. Um, it's, it's just a great tactic, I think, to, in prayer to seek the Lord, ask him those things that should go, and then ask him, what do you want me to replace those things with now that they're gone? God bless you. Again, we appreciate you so much at Direct Line, and uh, I hope that this is a helpful uh, time for you, that that the uh, short messages that we share with you are a blessing. And, uh, you know, if, if you have questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask. We may not have all of the answers, but uh, we'll certainly seek the Lord with you to find them. God bless you, and thank you for what you do at Direct Line.